Hi, my name is Jenny Chattias and I'm one of the instructional designers and system administrators here for Blackboard 9.1. Today, I'm going to be showing you one very quick skill that you can use to prepare uh, in between semesters while teaching with Blackboard 9.1. Uh, we're going to perform what's called a quick course copy. It's a simple two-step process that's going to help you move all your content from, let's say, your spring semester class into your summer session. Now, I've already logged into Blackboard, so you should be able to see my screen. I have a development course where I've prepared all of the content for my summer class. So I'm going to click into that particular class. And the first step that I want to take is to copy all of the content that I have in here into my summer course. I do this by going down to the control panel, clicking on packages and utilities. I click on course copy next. And I am copying all the course materials into an existing course. Section two is asking me for a destination course ID or basically to pick the course that I will be um, copying the content into. So I'm going to click on Browse and look for my summer course. There it is. I select the course. I click Submit. And now I choose which specific areas do I want to copy. In this case, I want to copy everything. So I'm going to go ahead and click every single option that you see here. Content areas, adaptive release, and all the tools that I'm thinking I will be using in the ne next course. Okay. Okay, after this, step three is optional. I can calculate the size of the course just because I may be worried about how big the file will be that I'm copying over, but that's not really something that worries me at this point. I don't want to bring in the enrollments because I'm not interested in bringing the gradebook data, all the student content from my spring class into my summer course. So all I really have to do at this point is click submit. Notice the green bar at the top that states success, course copy, action queued, and email will be sent when the process is complete. Now, this is very important. You have to wait for that email to get to your either um, Atlas email, your live at edu email address, or your Outlook email. Um, do not run the import multiple times because you, then you will end up with duplicate entries, duplicate tests, duplicate files, duplicate gradebook columns uh, for every single time that you import into your class. So make sure that you run this once and you wait for that email to get here. Depending on how big your course is, how much content is in it, you're looking at anywhere up to 20 or 30 minutes for a course copy. In my case, this particular course is very small. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my home tab. Since it's been a couple of minutes and I'm going to click on the summer course. And I'm going to click on the um, refresh button that I see here in my course menu and see if I can already identify. Yep, sure they are. There's the different areas at the very bottom. This is all of the information that I copied over from my uh, earlier course. So I'm going to click on tests and quizzes, and there's my information. Beautiful, so it has copied over. Notice that what I moved over was a test, so the test is no longer available because I have to uh, provide new dates and times for this exam. So at this point, I have the second step to do. Um, I finish my copy. Now I want to move my areas around, so I need to clean up that course menu so that things that I need to make sure they're visible to students are, in fact, visible to my students. Notice in this case, I'm just moving a couple of um, course menu items around. So those are all resources. Okay. My menu looks the way I want it to. I need to make sure that I edit my exams by editing the test options so that the test is available. There we are. So I'm going to say that this is going to be available until November of this year. 
Okay, beautiful. So I know the test is available. And the last thing I want to do is if I happen to have a whole, uh, a lot of files in the file manager for this Blackboard course, then I'm also probably going to want to head on over to the file manager and make sure that all my permissions are taken care of so that my students in this new class are able to see all the content that I've made available or linked for them. And I can do that by running down to my control panel. See the section that says files? That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to click on DEV Instructor Jenny Summer, and that just happens to be the title of this course. And you'll notice that there's one big folder there. Um, this is the folder that I'm interested in looking at. I'm going to use the drop down menu. I'm going to click on permissions. And I see here that course builder has read, write, remove, and manage permission. Instructor does as well. I need to make sure that the student group has access to see these files. So I'm going to click on add user list. I'm going to say students can read anything that I have linked that happens to live in the file manager. It could be things like my, um, my syllabus or maybe a PowerPoint presentation that I have added to the to the mix, anything that I have uploaded into my course, it's going to live in that file manager. It's kind of like a very big bag. And we want to make sure that those students have read access to the files that I've included in there. All right, so it looks like right now we have students have read access. That's perfect. That means this course is ready for students to review. They'll be able to have access to any files that I've made available to them. My course menu looks exactly how I want it to because I've already rearranged it. And remember, course copy is something that's very simple for us to do. Go into the course where the content is, copy it into the new course, then clean up your menu and make sure your permissions are set. And that's it for now. Happy copying. Thank you.